don't know why he'd be in such a hurry to get to that place. I don't reckon there's no chance I can go to a funeral. You killed three men, Joe. If I was rich, it wouldn't be no problem, would it? If I was rich, I wouldn't even be in here, would I? I didn't come here to talk about social injustice, Joe. Just came to tell you about your mother. See you a second. You ready to come out of that cell, Toro? <laughs> no! <laughs> All right. In this prison, you get what you give. If you give a little too much, you get more than you can handle. <laughs> Red Rock Prison, Senator Townsend. Thank you very much, Mr. Um... Jefferson Bent, guard captain. Uh, Mr. Bent? Bent will take care of your things. Thank you. So you've got quite a lot of construction going on here. And the senator's here. Mm -hmm. He's waiting. Coming from the mine, Warden? Yeah, that's right. And I assume you know that our uh, copper mines make a profit. That Red Rock prison doesn't cost the taxpayer a dime. But men are like slaves, then. Slaves. These men have broken territorial laws. Now they're paying for their crime. I have murderers, rapists, many bank thieves. Not exactly what I'd call slaves. So vengeance is yours, Warden Flinders. Vengeance has nothing to do with it. It's retribution. Society's retribution, not mine. Warden Flinders. Hey, how are you today, Jim? I'm going to break out soon. You go to isolation again. <laughs> you won't catch me this time. I got it all planned. <laughs> So you do have a hole here at Red Rock Warden. We have an isolation cell, and it's not just for the prisoners. What does that mean? It means that any guard that abuses a prisoner will spend time in it. It happens every now and then. Well, this is where we say goodbye. But, Warden, I haven't Sir, seen a cell block. you are an official witness at a hanging tomorrow. And you decided... Excuse me. You decided as long as you were here to look for some trouble, some corruption, some cruelty. Well, you haven't found any because there isn't any. And I really haven't got time for your fishing expedition. Warden, you misunderstand no, my sir. intent. You're a politician, and I understand perfectly. See you in the morning.
So, you heard from the governor? Yeah, sorry. Want your last meal tonight or in the morning? Night, I reckon. Can't make no sense of dying on a full stomach. You want to eat alone or you want some company? I don't believe a man should eat his last meal alone if he doesn't want to, so. You can have it here or come upstairs and eat with me. Prisoner McVeigh, sir. How many other men you had up here like this the night before? Twenty-three. Sit down. Yeah. Is there anything I can do for you? Before you kill me and me? I'm not killing you, Miguel. Territory of Arizona's doing that. And I didn't mean to kill that man, damn it. That's what I just can't get over. I mean, I'm being sent to hell for something I didn't even mean to do. Sometimes I think I'm just gonna wake up and all would have been a bad dream. But that's not about to happen now, is it? No. Never tasted wine like this before. French. I developed a taste for it when I was in uh, San Francisco. San Francisco. That must be something. I never got to see the ocean. Um. You asked me earlier if there's anything you could do for me. Did you mean it? Within reason. Will you, uh... You give that to my wife. She lives down the other side of Sierra Pinta. She used to anyway. I ain't been there in two years. She's Mexican, but she's my real wife. Got us a little daughter, too. It's a sweet little thing. Yeah, they both deserve better than me. Tell her, uh... Tell her I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. And tell her I did it. I killed the son of a bitch. He had it coming. And so do I. Words, Carl. Yes. Thank you, sir. This execution is being carried out by the duly constituted authority, which is the territory of Arizona, on this 10th day of July, 1910. May God have mercy on your soul, Carl McBail. Oh, this. You like horses, do you, son? 
Yes, sir. Must be a pretty good judge of horse flesh. You never stole any cheap ones. He can work in the stables. Let's go. Sullivan. Sullivan, armed robbery, two arrests, two convictions. Bank robbery, one arrest, no convictions. And murder. Three arrests, one conviction, and a life sentence. Curly. Jesus. Scully. God damn, I thought you were dead. Oh, me too. But it was just a Mexican jail. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you went up to San Francisco. Oh, hell, I did. As fast as I could. <laughs> uh, Mr. Bent, uh, Mr. Sullivan here, oh, is an old friend. Uh, we'd like to take a few moments alone, if you don't mind. So, when did you go straight? I was doing a little time in uh, San Francisco back in 84. And, uh, started doing some serious thinking. So when I got out, I got a job. A job. <laughs> yeah, but, um, Wells Fargo, then Pinkerton, state of California five years, then I'm here. I guess I just grew up, Sully. I guess I just didn't. <laughs> so what really happened? On that day back there, Jack. That bank job that we did. I was, uh, I was outside holding them horses with Escobar. And then um, all of a sudden, he, he mounts up. Doesn't say goodbye, kiss my ass. I mean, he just rides off. And the next thing I know, them federalities open up from that, uh, that roof across the street. Shoot the horses to hell. Hit me twice. I let go of the shotgun, and uh, I let out of there bleeding like a pig. I just, I just never stopped till I crossed that border. Escobar. So was that, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much the way I figured it. Well, how are we gonna handle this, Mike? I mean, you're here for life. Well, Jack. It is do your job. How do I? Dusty. Here, could use some water. Dolores! What do you want? I'm unarmed, ma'am. Uh, except for my saddle rifle. If you're the law, you're too late. They already got him a long time ago. Uh, I came to see you, Mrs. McPhail. Uh, my name is John Flinders. I'm warden at Red Rock Prison. The warden. He asked me to bring it to you. He's dead. Yes, ma'am. Uh, he was hanged. He uh, wanted 
he wanted me to tell you that he was sorry and that he loved you very much and, and the girl too, of course. When we married in Mexico, he was always laughing. He was a wonderful boy. But he did not know how to be a man. Did you marry young? No, oh, ma'am. Never, never married. But you've been in love. Uh, no, not, not really. No. I have my work. The prison? Yes. I, uh, I find it interesting, and uh, I believe it's important. Mommy! Si, ¿qué pasa? Mommy! Muchachos malos en aquí al revés. Hey, Maria! Thank you, partner. Take a little ride with us, huh? Yeah! Come on! Come on, It happens Maria. every pay that they will go soon. <laughs> Stay inside. See your beautiful eyes. What are you doing there, old timer? Hey, boys, you uh, all having a good time? You been inside with her? Hey, Maria, what's wrong with us? We want some too. <laughs> now you take it easy, fellas. You got the wrong idea. This is uh, McVale and I are just old friends. <laughs> Mrs. McVale? Do you hear that, Luke? Mrs. McVale? Pretty damn uppity for a beaner <laughs> slut. Get out of my way, you. <laughs> Take off your boots, boys. What? Take them off. Your horse is ahead and home, boys. You do the same. What about our, our boots? And our guns. I'll leave them with Sheriff Church. I suspect you're acquainted with him. We gotta walk barefoot? Give you a chance to sober up. Do some thinking. Fifteen miles. Could you use some water? Give it to the sheriff when you pick up your gear. Tell him it belongs to John Flinders. Now go on. Let's go, boys. Okay. Come on. You'll need water. You have to go to the canyon for it. Uh, what about you, Will? It's worn out. Sullivan, ain't you? Shoemaker wrote us you were coming. I'm making his Reese. How many guards they got here? Mm, about 30. Got 15 on, 15 off. What about the mine? There's four on each detail. We work two weeks, and then we're off two weeks. <laughs> work two weeks, cough two weeks. <laughs> Warren likes to call it humane working conditions. <laughs> what are the guards holding? Um, uh, 12-gauge pumps and Winchester lever actions. 
You ask a lot of questions. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got there? We got a rat. His name's Wesley. <laughs> How long you had him? About a year or so. We used to have rat fights every Sunday afternoons, but he killed off all the competition. <laughs> Ugly son of a bitch. You might say the same thing about you. <laughs> well, get along with me. You watch your mouth. And you do want to get along with me. Thank you, Mrs. McGill. If I leave now, I can get back before dark. Thank you. For you, go we fat. Thank you. Well, <laughs> goodbye. Yes, sir, Madden. Just a minute here. Right before I left on Tuesday, I sent word down that this man be taken off my detail. That order never got to me, Warden. Every Monday morning, I pick up the worksheet from Mr. Master's office. Whichever names is on the list is the ones that works. Take him to the hospital. Yes, sir. Madden. Mr. Masters, last week I ordered that prisoner Madden be taken off the mine detail of what happened. Mr. Flinders, you didn't order it. You suggested it. In my prison, when I make a suggestion, it is an order. Excuse me, but why should this man be an exception? Because his lungs are gone, Mr. Masters. The territory sent him here for us to keep, not to kill. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Bent, draft a letter to the governor. I, uh, I'm strongly suggesting early parole for prisoner Bob Madden, number. He's, um, caused no trouble in the four years he's been here with us, and uh, I suspect he's dying. Put the letter on my desk for signature, and, uh, then let his family know. He has no family, sir. I see. Anything else, sir? Morning, Mr. Cal. Dolores, we haven't got much time. We better get started.
out of his cell for like a week. He was shitting in there and everything. <laughs> they went in there to get him, and he put two of them guys in the infirmary. You want to shit yourself? Go right ahead. You'll be in it for the next 10 days. 10 days, huh? Did they feed him? Yeah, they gave him water and half a loaf of stale bread a day. Take a couple days to settle, but it's sweet. It's going to be very cold tonight. Please come in and sleep by the fire. You can come in now, Mr. Flinders. Sure likes you, little sister. Wanna ride him? Hey! Um. That's all right, he's really very gentle. Wonderful girl. She 
You should be with the other children and teachers. Yes. You know, it's none of my business. This is my bail, but you really should uh, move into town. We will someday. Uh, I mean, and it's not just um, Dolores I'm thinking about. I mean, you don't belong out here either. Well, goodbye. Adios, Dolores! Christians finally get an ordinance passed against Rose. She just refuses to close down. I had to throw the whole bunch of them in jail till they leave. Where are they going? Las Cruces. Saloon owners took up a collection. <laughs> Sending wagons for them. Lime Creek without a whorehouse. Yeah, times are changing, John. Yeah. How are things out in Red Rock? Well, a bit less complicated than your jail, huh? <laughs> So you, uh, you know of any houses for in here in town? Well, you might as well just bunk in with me. Ever since Martha died, I'm rattling around in there like a bean in a tin can. Well, don't think. But, uh, it's not for me. There's this, uh, woman, she's living in the hole in the wall out there in the Sierra Pintas. Got a daughter, a girl alone out there. What's her name? Uh, McVale, Maria. Carl McVale's wife? Yeah. Mexican woman, yeah, the kid's a half-breed. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's your interest in this woman, John? Just, uh, she shouldn't be alone out there and the child needs to go to school. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, well, what the hell does that mean? Well, that means I'll try to find her house. All right. <laughs> you finished that report to the Bureau of Prisons? Yes, yeah, sir, it went out yesterday. Yeah. Um, how many more days does uh, Toro have left in isolation? Two. He has black its ponchos. He's not to be tortured. Yes, sir. Mr. Sullivan, now how is he doing? Good worker. There's a lot of time for bacon and race, that's for sure. Hmm. Haven't formed a uh, poultry reading group yet, I... Well. Difficult to imagine you being friends with a no-hoper like Sullivan. We had some wild times. These are our case. Of course, there was a time when our case was needed in this country. The times have changed, boy. So they keep telling me. That ain't bad, huh? Who owns it? A widow named Sarah McKendrick. She's going to be in Denver for about a year, so she asked the bank to rent the place out if they could. Tell them I'll give them six months in advance. <laughs> you think you maybe like to think about this for a while? Does it have a stable? Mr. Flinders. 
floor, so we don't watch the dusty floor. I, uh, I need to talk to you alone somewhere. Yes. been doing a lot of thinking about uh, your predicament. I mean, you and Dolores living out here alone. And the more I thought about it, the more it bothered me. Just let me finish. I've uh, never made a speech like this before, and it's not easy for me. To get to the point, uh, I've rented you a house in town, and these prisoners are here to help you move out. And please, ma'am, you let me finish before you say no and you get angry and all that. I've um, I rented the house for um, six months. Should give you time to settle in, find something to do. Dolores can go to school. The world is changing, Mrs. McVail. And, uh, well, if Dolores doesn't want to be a part of it, uh, she'll be left behind. What do you think? I'm thinking about all the work we did on the well. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Mr. Flinders? Uh, well, it's kind of like the well, ma'am. It just... Uh, needs to be done. Always there, same spot every day. Think about him. When you eat, when you dream, when you shit. How many steps from the entrance? How many? Oh, no, nine, sir, nine. Earth, sit. Count. She hasn't got a name yet. I can't let you do this, Mr. Flinders. With all due respect, ma'am, I don't know who's happier right now, me or that little girl. I'll, uh, I'll let you settle in. You keep those men as long as you want. They'll come back on their own. And if you have any problems, just get word to me in the prison. I've never met anyone like you, Mr. Flinders. Is crazy. Even if we get away with it, where the hell are we gonna go? The border. Do you know what kind of country's between here and there? There's no food, there's no water. And not too many men will follow us across it. Yeah, well, there's a few, and Flinders is one of them. That's what I'm hoping. Fact is, 
I was counting on it. Surprise. I was in town. I thought I'd drop by. Please come in. Please, sit down. Thank you. How is everything? Wonderful. It's just wonderful. Can I ask you something? The lady who owns the house? Ms. McKendrick. Yes. She has a sewing machine in the bedroom. Would it be all right if I use it? I, I could take in a little sewing. I don't see why not. She rented the house with everything in it. This for you. Do you want me to open this now? If you like. I hope you like it. of you are. No, she has a new friend. She lives two houses from here. And they play together after school. In school, she likes it. Oh, she loves it. Oh, that would be Mr. Sanchez. Bienvenido, Senor Sanchez. Entra, por favor. Gracias. present my sister, la señora Vázquez. Encantada. Mucho gusto en conocerle. This is uh, Mr. Flinders, John Flinders from the prison, that man I told you about. This is señor uh, Sánchez and señora Vázquez. I met him in church. Señor Sánchez has the horse... Um, no, the livery. Livery, livery stables, yes. Yes, uh, Mr. Sánchez and I have uh, done business in the past. We're very grateful to you, Mr. Flinders, for helping Maria and Dolores become a part of our community. Maria, my sister has made a rice a wonderful pudding. rice pudding. Muchísimas gracias. Por favor, siéntense. Mr. Flinders, we are, we're going to have coffee. Would you like to stay? Oh, no, gracias. Uh, I must be going. Uh, you gusto? Mr. Flinders. Tell Dolores I'm sorry I missed her. Thank you so much for the gift. Oh, you're welcome. Goodbye. Mr. Flinders. What? Uh, would you like to come for dinner? Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow? Seven o'clock. Yes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Huh? 
Edward, let me have your pace, please. If you don't mind, go back to the line. Okay. Thank you. What's this? He'll surprise you. Mr. Masters, it is inhumane to expect these men to work like mules on a diet of beans and potatoes. Where's the meat? I don't know, Lord. Otis, when's the last time you had meat out here? I'm not sure, Warden. Not since I've been here, anyway. So. Where's the money, Mr. Masters? Money? That is your goddamn department, isn't it? I'm sure it's just an oversight, Mr. Flinders. Money has been paid out for meat, Mr. Masters. You owe these men meat, or you owe me money. Sir. Mr. Carter. Yes, sir? From now on, all the guards will eat the exact same food as the men. You will go through the lines exactly like the prisoners do, do you understand? <laughs> but, sir, I... But nothing, Mr. Carter. I suspect the food will get better in a hurry. <sighs> I want all the commissary accounts on my desk first thing in the morning. Along with your letter of resignation. Yes. Jesus, did you hear? He fired Masters. <laughs> be damned. Very good, Curly. Place will be in an uproar. We go tomorrow. The wine is wonderful. Makes my blood sing. And coffee will help. Dolores, what name did you pick out? Ken. The mayor, what, what did you name her? Uh, uh, Luz. Mm-hmm. Luz. Light? Luz. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You must study now, Dolores. you for everything. She has great feeling for you. I've never had much to do with children, but she's, um, she's, um, <laughs> It's been wonderful for her here. And you, you're making friends too? A few. The priest, uh, Father Lucero. Senor Sanchez. He's a very nice man. And his sister, she's nice too. <laughs> <laughs> she's not bad. She's, um, she's very old fashioned. Senor Sanchez's wife died three years ago, and they have four children. So he's very lonely. I understand. They visit me. Every day. Well, he seems like a good man. And nice looking too, don't you think? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, better looking than me. I mean, that's not saying very much, but yes. But how do you think you look? Me? Yes. Odd. Oh, I, I've always felt that I look odd. See, a man like Sanchez, he's comfortable in his own skin, you know? I've never felt that way. Maybe it's from being around so many convicts. We have a great many odd-looking convicts. Some are outstandingly ugly. <laughs> But you are a very handsome man. No, no, no. <laughs> you are. I mean, you are. You're beautiful. Maria, you're a beautiful woman. Coffee? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sorry. Did I burn you? No, I'm all right. You sure? Yes. Uh, they're lovely. Thank you. Mr. Sanchez? Yes. Damn it, there's a deputy on duty down at the jail. Open the damn door. John, yeah, what's wrong? Look, you still hiding that jug in that old spot? Lost the dead, what, two years now? Oh, close to three now. I wouldn't feel right keeping the stuff in her house. You don't need that anymore. It's awful, isn't it? Oh. Just give me a hair more. Yeah, me too. So, how was your dinner this evening with Mrs. McVale? Is there something that goes on in this town you don't know about? She's a fine looking woman. She's a good woman, too, I've heard. She's had a hard life. You're not just feeling sorry for her, are you, John? I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Maybe. Well, that's a good, clear answer. Let's drink to it. I understand old Pete Sanchez has been paying some attention to her. Yeah, yeah, he's a good man. He's a damn good man. Hey, Cell, let me ask you, how long were you with Martha? 32 years and eight months. Is that enough? What? Was 32 years and eight months enough? No. It wasn't. Sure as hell was not. Man down! We got a man down in here! Man down in section seven. I'm moving in. Man down in section seven. Oh. What's the matter? What happened? I don't know, boss. He just, he just started yelling and, and grabbing his gun like that. He's probably busted something. Get him out of here. Come on, it's okay, buddy. Get 
Get ten men, five men in each motor car. Can I hope you like? I know these monsters very well, huh? I know from all my escapes. Hell, why not? Hey, what about us? Go wherever you want. Hell with that, I'm going with you. Do it, I'll kill you. And you, though. I want you. We need you on the other side getting the horses. Come on. I only got eight months to do. Now, you're coming. That's all there is to it. Call Sheriff Church on that thing. Tell him what's going on. Tell him to get a posse ready. Stand by. We've got three of them pinned down at the bridge. Charlie, get your men. Secure the bridge and lock this place down. We'll head around the mountain. Wait for them on the other side. Move yourself slow and easy. Pace yourself. Don't be stupid. We got a long way to go. They'll head out through Wiley's Pass, sir. They always do. We've got plenty of time. I suppose. They never learn, do they, sir? I hope not. They headed southeast instead. Picked themselves up some horses around Alden's farm. All right, then. He could make for Nogales, or even cut north towards Sells in Tucson. Uh, he's comfortable in Mexico. Knows lingo real well. So he'll cross the border at San Luis. They're about, so we can't make it without water. So that means uh, bait's well at gun sight, and I'm guessing baits. It's rough for country. And that's him. Well, we'll be tracking him anyway. Don't much matter. You're not going to ride at night, are you, sir? Yeah, we'll ride a bit and walk a lot, but we'll keep moving. They'll stop the rest, and we won't. Let's mount up. All right. You heard the warning. Let's go. Settle up. Damn desert. How can it be so hot in the daytime and so cold at night? Any ranches around here? Hell yeah. They got cacti and gila monsters. Rattlesnakes. They do a hell of a business in rattlesnake meat. <laughs> we shouldn't be riding our horse over this shale. He'll come up lame. I'm hoping he does. Then I can shoot the son of a bitch. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Then we can hit him. <laughs> yeah, boy. Sound like a bunch of women. Taza must be a hell of a tracker. Following the trail on a night like this. He ain't following no trail. Where the hell are we going? See the mountains off to the left? Kid, I can barely see you. You want to try and work your way through those bastards in the dark? I don't suppose I would. Neither do they. First night, we'll be within 200 yards of the trail. Yazi is a crazy-ass Navajo. Drunk, but you can track. Hey, Ed. You just walked through a fresh pile of horse shit. How fresh? Less than two hours. All right, let's keep moving. How they doing? All right. A couple more hours of rest, I'll be fine. Well, you can get it. I'm ready to go. Come on. That's right. Christ, that was Up a short night. <laughs> Everybody got to sleep, so I'll even Flinders. He's not sleeping, believe me. Talk like you're scared of him. See, I ain't scared of him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why don't you just stay behind and... Wait for him, then. <laughs> How far ahead do you figure Billy is? Half a mile, maybe. That's all? Don't want to be stumbling around after those boys alone. Not with them holding those brand new prison issue shotguns. You married Tyler? Nope. 
Came close once. Yeah, what happened? She's Navajo. I'd have to go up there, live with her mother, take care of the goddamn sheep. So I passed. You married, Professor? Oh, no. God damn it, come on, move. God damn it, move. Oh, God. All right. Take a break. He's through. Well, it's your own damn fault, you lazy bastard. I can ride double, though. I, I can't ride double. Macon? Macon, could I ride up with you? <laughs> you can go to hell, Reese. I always told you, take it easy on that horse. You can have my horse, Reese. Yeah? What the hell are you gonna do? I'll wait here for the warden. This running away is just a game and play with him. <laughs> he always catches me. Three times he caught me. <laughs> well, once I went back myself. You want to go back to prison? Sure. It's better than in Mexico, you know? You got a bed, growl three times a day. <laughs> you don't have to worry about nothing. You go ahead. I'll take care of him. He'll be okay. Hell, yeah. I'll take care of him myself. Uh, is there anybody else? I think this is a game. Jesus Christ, Sullivan, you didn't have to kill him. Sure did. Probably a lot of family men. And that bossy back there. Give him something to think about, don't you think? They're bound to hear that. <laughs> They're gonna be all over us now. Is that right? Yeah. Whoa! Did you hear that? It was a six gun for sure. How far? Hard to tell over this ground. Couple, three miles. How far is the base well? Uh, maybe 10 miles. Ferguson, Rogers. Take Ooh. these men, get after them as fast as you can. Push them, throw some shots at them, but you be careful. Here, take my glasses. Damn. Always wanted a pair of these. And I want them back. Hell, General. You're not an Indian giver, are you? Move out! Slow and easy. Keep an eye out.
don't get too close. Barely. Make sure he stays that way. It's your lucky day, Redskin. I hadn't noticed. We gotta keep you and your friend over there alive. Slow him down a little bit. Well, I'll be goddamn a drag. Yeah, all trick of your people, huh? I think I'll take these here binoculars too. You don't mind? Better be careful with them. They belong to the warden. Yeah? Tell him he can get him back in old Mexico. Let's go! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! The old man base didn't see anything. He said his dog was barking like hell a couple hours ago. He spotted the dust. Headed south with that water that took off Taza. Well, they still don't have enough water. Now listen. The hell with it, John. Let's let the Federales just pick him up at the border. I just go on a race. With who? The hell, your people are all played out too. I go on. Got me a fresh mount. John, there's four men out there. Yeah, one of them's dying. Otis is no killer. That leaves Sullivan and one other. I can't let you do it, John. I believe you're out of your jurisdiction. I'm sorry, son. You can't stop me. I don't want anyone else hurt. And I feel like that ambush was my fault. There wouldn't be anything personal in this, would there? Well, yeah, might be. Sorry about your binoculars, boss. That's all right. How you feel? Old man Bates Miss Scar's the best damn painkiller in the world. No, yep, you take care of yourself. You ain't going without me. How I ain't. Just try and keep up with me, white man. Bemos is sensitive, Professor. <laughs> give me that thing. Come on, give me that horse pistol. Here, take that. This damn thing is about as old as you are. Thanks, so. Yeah. I want it back. How far to the border? About 50 miles, I reckon. You sure? No, I'm not sure. I said. I reckon. So it could be a hundred miles. I reckon it could. Make it. Come on now. Let's keep moving, buddy. Let me get some more. Now you know you shouldn't be drinking if the belly will make it. <laughs> Let me get some goddamn water. She looks so good. 
She smells, she smells so, so, so bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Let's go. Come back. No way. I give up. I give up. Of course you do. Go right back there with that fella. Yes, sir. I give up. I give up. I'll be right back. I probably won't be here.
border, you son of a bitch! Mexico, Curly. Don't you remember old Mexico, Curly? That old rancho outside of Magdalena, where we got those horses. God, that was a pretty place. Wasn't that a pretty place? Tanasco, that sandy beach, those big old trees. God, laying there in that sand with a jug in one hand and a fat Santa Rita in the other. Let's go there, Curly. Think about it. You really want to go back to that prison? Who's gonna know? Hell, who's gonna care? They're just about done with us. Taking you back. The hell you are. Damn it, Jack. Just pull a trigger. That's what this was all about. Going out in a big old blaze of glory. I'm sorry, old buddy. And days are gone. You're going back, Mike. You're going to be tried for murder by the citizens of Arizona in six months. Maybe a year. You'll hang. I don't give a good goddamn. Except me. Maybe. Now walk, I swear to Christ, I'll drag you. Walk.
be damned. Take care of him, will you? Go well, on, get out there. You all right, John? What happened? 